Let's go, baby. We got the lift. I should have done this right when I bought it. Alright guys, it's Carfleet back with another Friday upload. So if you saw last week's video, we were thinking we are going to get the body lift and we actually got it today. So we're going to be installing the lift in the Ram today. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to lift this thing since the day I got it and now it's finally going to happen. So here it is, 3 inch body lift from Performance Accessories. So it's got some stuff, we're just going to take a few things out, just the paper. It's got a decal, so don't forget your gap guards which I don't think you really need on the RAM because of the way it's set up. Then you gotta throw this under the hood just so people know you got a massive lift. But yeah, here it is. I mean, there was some paper in here. I already took it out, but for the most part, it's just thrown in here. But yeah, there's the lift. We'll unbox that later. And here's those tires. They've been waiting patiently. So guys, before we start the lift, I have to take my, my uh, roof rack off and I have to take my tire gate some of this swing out thing off. Uh, for a few reasons, I'll show you guys. So I'm gonna take this off because I have to get new bolts because like that just looks bad and like that there but i also just want to paint in here and clean this up so i might as well do it at this time and the other thing is this is the side that swings out so when you open it this swings out and it's really like pulling on this metal here so what i'm going to do is make a plate that goes on both at the same time and that way it'll be nice and strong because if you get a 37 on here it's going to be even heavier so we're just going to take that off and we're going to take the rack off because we're going up three inches here. I wanna do this lift in the garage and it's already close. So I'm just gonna take the rack off because if I do this lift and it doesn't get out of the garage then we're gonna have an issue. All right guys, so tire gates removed. Gotta paint this each side. But you can see this hole, and this is the side that swung out, right? So you can see it's kinda starting to pull forward a bit. You can see it there. So I gotta put some reinforcement in there because I do not want that to rip out. So we're gonna worry about that later. Let's get the rack off now. All right guys, rack's off. And this thing looks awesome without the rack too. We're starting the body lift, guys. I hope I can finish it. I'm not gonna be able to raise the bumpers. It's gonna look weird for a little bit until I get the time to do that, but I actually works all day Sunday. But we're starting, guys. We're finally starting. I'm so hyped up. Let's do it. So we got it in the garage. We're working a little bit tight on space, but we should be able to make it happen. But uh, we're just gonna follow the instructions. So whatever it says to do, we're gonna do. I haven't, this is an 09. Yeah, so I don't think I'll have a lot of those sensors that need to be unplugged. But yeah, we're just gonna start plugging away. Let's see what the first step is. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go over and make sure we have everything because you definitely don't want to do this and then not have it because that would be a career ender. So I'm just going to go through. We're going to do a little unboxing. We'll see what we got. All right, so here's the kit. We got the 16 locks. We got our um, red Loctite that it comes with. These are for the bed for extra support if you're doing like heavy loads and using it as a work truck. Uh, we got some drop down brackets. Um, and then these are for the bumpers, the rear bumpers, and these are for the front bumpers. So. I'm not gonna be using those. So that takes a lot out of what we're actually doing here. Um, I'm not sure what this is for. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I'm, now at this point, I'm pretty much just hoping it's all here. I see the, the steering extension there. Um, I don't really wanna go through it all and take it out of the bag quite yet. And this is everything. You take it out of the box, it's not really that much because these are gonna go back into the box and then we'll see what we actually use. But let's get started. Okay, first step, positive, negative, remove the battery cables and then remove the fuse for the airbag. Okay, we can do that. All right, so battery's unhooked, just a 10, you just loosen it on each side and pull it off. Now, this is the, right here is actually what I believe is the airbag fuse for the 09 to 12s, because I couldn't find it, but it's called, you can see in there, it's called a bat IOD main. That's what that is. And you can tell because in the picture it shows you, it's like the only fuse that does that, it, it just pops up. See that, like it won't let me take it out. So I just pop it up and now it's out of the truck. You can see the same with the newer one too. It has that weird yellow casing. So that's gotta be it, I'm assuming. All right, so we've taken off 
a lot of stuff. We took our fender flares off because there's a bolt under here. You have to get two feet to get the fascia off. I don't really know why you have to take it off, but we do. So we're just gonna follow the instructions, take it off. But yeah, I haven't seen this thing in a long time without flares and stuff. And you can see my rust job, it held up. The Bondo is good. It's a bit the crack, the paint, but like not bad to Bondo. So yeah, this fender is like, Pooch though, like this is all rust, all filled with Bondo. And you can see there it's peeling too. So we're gonna have to figure something out for that, but I don't really care. I mean, you might as well just chop it, honestly. No, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna make, maybe we might have to cut a bit, but we'll see. See how this goes. That's where I'm gonna call it for today. I gotta go to work now. I got one bolt there, so we're already on the second step. <laughs> second step to uh, removing stuff. I don't have fog lights, so we don't have to do that. I got the fascia almost off. Yeah, I cannot wait. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys. It's the next morning. It's nice and cold. It's go time. Okay, so I'm going to go pop out both inner fenders. Because there's a bo there's body pucks. Dude, I don't know if you have to, but you have to get at that steering shaft, which I'm not sure where that is yet, which I think is behind the, the, the fender liner there. So let's just, I'm just gonna go nuts and kind of tack the front end here. All right guys, so we did the fascia, we got the fascia off. I unclipped my, uh, I have an aftermarket uh, intake, but you can see it's loose from there. The filter just is in there. And yeah, that's all you gotta do is make it loose so you can just put it back after, I guess. I got the shroud, bottom shroud off, as you can see, there's a usually goes right into that fan there, but you just unclip it and like that's it. It's really simple that you can break it if you want. You don't need it. Now we are on to the steering shaft, which is probably going to be the worst part of this job. Ratchet strap the wheel. It's the very bottom that needs to be disconnected. There's one bolt. Luckily, it's facing me, so we can just get an extension in there and should be able to pop it out. But it's going smooth so far. I doubt it will stay. I don't really have high hopes that this is going to go the way it's going still. <laughs> But uh, yeah, let's just keep trucking away and if there's an issue, we'll solve it. All right, guys, so we've been f actually making pretty good progress. So I got the steering bolt out. These are the wire harness plugs. I got those off. You just have to push them out from the fender side. And then I got these bolts off. It's loose now. So these these instructions are really good, actually. Like, the, I haven't had any issues following them. There, you go. there it is. So I got the bolt out. Um, actually pretty easy. If you slide your ratchet through the frame there, like kind of under on the other side of that wall and up, it's actually pretty good. You get good leverage on it, it's perfect. I took this fender liner off. Look at my rust job, eh? Whew. Like you guys are thinking I'm out here doing bad jobs, but look at that, come on. You gotta give me some credit there. And it's held up. <laughs> That's the even more surprising part. It's held up for so long. Uh, we got this guy out, you can see it's loose. This is that uh, wire harness is telling you about. Just gotta pop that out. And now let's take this ground strap off. So I've just been sanding her. Can't even remember where I left off, but I pretty much did everything and I'm starting the mounts. As you can see, I got this one loose. I've got, I've actually broken the other two, like in a good way, broke them loose. Haven't done the one back here yet. I just need to get an extension for that. So I actually bashed my knuckle pretty good there. Just gave her the old one, two jab. Yeah, this is definitely not as easy as I thought, just because of my truck being so old and rusty. But obviously that's the way it goes in the off-road gang. Anybody that off-roads their trucks, they're not gonna be pretty when you do jobs like this, that's for sure. But I'm just gonna send her guys, so I'll show you once the bolts are out. So we got the passenger side bolts off. Looks decent. These four are loose, and then it says to start with the passenger side. So we got all of them off, as you can see, every single one. Yeah, they're all off. We're ready to go up. Yeah, we're gonna jack up the passenger side, some wood, and get right under the cab and just jack it up and slide the mounts in. Ready, Luke? Yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, this is the stock side. We haven't done this side yet. We just did the other one. And now, lifted, boys. Woo! Some good clearance there now. You can see it's obviously tilted. It might come down a bit when we get the other side up. Damn, that's freaking sick. Exactly what I needed to clear those 37s. We're gonna move on to the other side, but I'll just show you guys. 
It's actually pretty simple. So you switch these bolts or these washers over. Then you just jack up from the pinch weld some blocks. And then you just slide them in and just kind of give them a little hand tighten and all four and you're good. Pretty mint, not gonna lie. We're gonna keep going and we should have the cab done. All right guys, I kind of just need to get it done. So I was just sanding her. It's fully lifted and all the bolts are fully torqued, cab and bed. The bed's actually really easy once you find where the mounts are, the three blocks on each side. This thing's huge now. It's up to my shoulder. I chose to use blue thread locker rather than the red they give you. Just because red, you're never getting it off. So now I'm, I'm on the other end now. We're, we're putting everything back together. I didn't use these. Maybe I'll put them in down the road. I didn't do anything with the bumpers. Like I said, I got the aftermarket bumper. I'm just gonna make something. I'm just gonna throw it back on for now. It's gonna look really goofy, but that's how it will be for now. Yeah, the next step is um, the ground strap. There's an extension for it. I'm just gonna go nuts and just finish this thing. All right, guys, so pretty much done everything. And this was the very last step. And of course, you can't do a single thing on a truck without there being one issue. And it's the steering extension. I've been walloping on this thing and it will not come out. And I need that extension in there. Like I was debating on running without it, but like, I feel like that's just stupid and it's gonna lock or something down and I'm gonna die. So I've been trying to get this thing off there so I can put that extension in probably for the last hour. It's been an absolute joke. Everything else, if I would have done that quick, everything else would have flown together and I would have been done. But this is just like so frustrating if you guys work on your own vehicles and they're rusty like this and you guys kind of understand it's just the last step the last piece of the puzzle and it just blows up in my face and now i don't know if i'm going to be able to finish this thing because i'm about to lose my mind and it's like not coming off i've tried everything so i might as well just run the round to the scrapyard it was a good attempt yeah we'll see it in the scrapyard here pretty quick so I finally did it guys, I finally got it. It's only been 11 hours doing this body lift. <laughs> so there it is, you can see the extension. If your shaft is stuck, you gotta just wiggle it and you have to put some penetrating fluid on it. And you're just gonna wanna hit it around a bit. Use a pry bar, pry bar underneath here and hit it. And eventually it'll come out. And then the net, so I got it off and I was like, yes, let's go. Finally did it, and then the shaft was too low, I couldn't get the extension on. So what you have to do then, line up some uh, extensions like this, put it into the shaft, and just wail on it. And eventually you'll feel it pop back in, because it pops out, because unbolted my shaft, but it stayed attached when I lifted the truck. So make sure, if you can, make sure it's loose enough that it doesn't stay attached when you lift the truck or else you're gonna run into the issue of it not coming off and popping out. But if it pops out, just hit it back in and you should be able to push it just with your hand after that. You'll feel it because it'll become kind of like a cushion. So we got that back together, guys. Look at this thing though, absolute beast mode. Um, I still got a lot to do just to put it back together and stuff, but we're finally back. I might be able to finish it tonight, I'm not sure. But yeah, the Ram actually hides the body lift really well. Obviously this one, probably not. Maybe with the fender liner and the bumper on, but the rest of them, like, look at that. You can't tell at all, it's perfect. Same with the bed, just mint. All right, guys, it's like officially, I think 12 hours later. I got it 100% finished, which is mint. I went and drove it around the block. Drives the exact same, but I'm gonna be, I'm curious to see how it's gonna be with the rack on, because that's the big body roll factor. But yeah, let's go take a look at it, but it's dark out, but I'll show you guys the best I can. Here it is, guys. I absolutely love it. Kind of hard to see right now, but as you can see, the bumper's a little bit lower. It used to sit up right where the, where like level with the fascia. Um, I didn't put the front fender liners back in or the flares. And you can see that sick rust drop. But yeah, it feels like an absolute beast. And it's crazy because we're still going a bit higher once you get those tires. But like, so far, I would honestly recommend a body kit just because you can't tell and like you just get the cab off the ground. Like when I was off-roading, the cab was like 
the one thing I stressed about the whole time. I'm not going to recommend it yet. Um, we're going to wait a few months. But yeah, I can't really show you much. It's not that bright out. But yeah, it took me 12 hours, guys. This is an old truck. It had its issues. I didn't know what I was doing. A few different things came into consideration. But yeah, I mean, I got it finished. I'm super excited. Show you more in the morning. All right, everybody. You can definitely see a difference. It definitely needs bigger tires now. It's looking like a Hot Wheels. Let's take a little walk around here. See what's changed. So let's start at the front. My bumper, obviously, I haven't lifted it yet. Um, it would sit right up there. Now you can see how low it is. One thing I don't really like and I might want to address is how open that engine is. I might um, throw some plastic maybe down to like the frame just to block it off because like you see how exposed that is. Like I don't think it'll be an issue because the frames are, the log comes through here and just smokes it and then there goes my fan. With the bumper at this height, it doesn't look too bad actually. It looks a bit weird, but not crazy. You can definitely notice a big difference. It's an absolute beast. And you can see no fender liner, but you guys can tell it's an absolute unit now. I should have done this right when I bought it. Like I really love it now. I like, guess is like super exciting. Like I said before, hitch is going to be gone. We're going to get rid of this spare tire carrier thing too. We're gonna have so much clearance in the rear, guys. Just straight up a vertical wall. Gotta raise all that. That's a story for another day. But in terms of under here, it's like level with the frame. That's why these rams are so good to lift with the body lift, because you can't even see the pucks because the, the cab is still covering it. For the most part, it doesn't look goofy at all. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned, make sure you guys subscribe. We are not done yet. I got to make this thing get back to where it was with the rack and the spare tire carrier. I'm getting the 37s put on on Thursday. So next video, make sure you subscribe. The 37s should be on next video. And if you guys have any questions or want to know anything, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at carfleet underscore. I'll answer your questions as best as I can. I also like enjoy just talking to people, interacting with the off-road community and just uh, talking about builds and stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, just DM me and we'll, we'll have a chat. Let me know what you guys think of the lift. I think it's unreal. Like that's definitely what it needs. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the subs. Appreciate everybody who watches my videos. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.